I actually paid for a, a a fan that was a couple. They had just gotten in, and they see me. You know, I go in the Cracker Barrel, and I say, hey, you know, just for one. I'm sitting there waiting in the little uh, store area, and the guy walks up, and he's like, he said, he said, Woody? I said, yeah. He's like, oh, my gosh. He's like, we just flew in. He's like, we're, you know, we're seeing you at Cracker Barrel. I was like, yeah, I'm just getting some breakfast before I head to the field. And, uh, so I'll see them walk in. They got their Brewers hoodie on. They're coming to the game and stuff. And um, I call the waiter over. I'm like, hey. I was like, you see the people with the Brewers hoodies on? I was like, bring their check to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of them today. So they, uh, I don't know what their reaction was, but they, they came to the ballpark later that day, and I didn't end up seeing them. But, uh, you know, I just I, I try to take opportunities like that and try to make, make somebody's day. If, if you guys win a World Series, then – Maybe it's a little player, but also like owner side, they just go, yo, one day for like two, three hours, it's like free booze. And, and you know, you need to make sure you soak up the alcohol or something. So maybe like free booze and oh. chicken tenders at like 20 different bars. <laughs> oh, they'll burn They'll burn this place down if we win the World Series. And Kratzy knows well, and 18 going on that run. This place was, um, it was pretty electric. And it was like that yesterday too, our home opener and um uh, Train hitting the grand slam and places going nuts. They're giving out little cowbells. So I feel like I'm back at Mississippi State and it's just going, it's going crazy. Roof closed. We had a flyover with the roof closed yesterday. We kind of had it all. So um, no, this place would go nuts if we won the World Series. You know, lungs are great. I just come from Colorado Springs um, and I get out and I'm doing my leg stretches and I, and I get to that second second set of uh stretches you saw there and i get to the bottom and i just thought my like my hip dislocated i'd never pulled anything i'd never done anything so it, it was like a weird weird i can't really describe it but it just you could feel the tension just kind of get greater and greater and greater and then it's just like whoop, it just pulled apart so i'm standing there and i'm thinking to myself i'm like no way i just pulled my hamstring you know, going down to a stretch. So I hit the old, you know, I hit the old, let me hit a couple of stretches here, whatever. And then I, um, I tried to bend down and touch my toes and I get about halfway and my, I'm talking about from the back of my knee to the top of my butt, just on fire. And right then I knew like, oh my God, I just pulled my hamstring, like stretching. So then I go, uh, DJ, who was our pitch coach at the time. I'm like, I so nonchalant, just walk up and I'm like, DJ man, I just I just pulled my hamstring. <laughs> and the the look on his face, I'll never forget it. The look on his face, and he like he's like, or he's like, hold on. He's like, You sure? He's like, You sure it's not a cramp? And I'm like, No. I said, I can't move, man. I said, I just I just pulled my hamstring stretching. <laughs>